Hey, it's Ed at Antique Toys. I kind of feel sad doing this review because it shows how much the toy industry has changed. This is a Mego doll, not a figure, but a doll. And uh, it's of Iron Man. Is that not relatively horrific? Um, his joints work, his legs work, but my gosh, look at that sculpt. How bizarre. And look at the underoos. I mean, poor guy. His belt doesn't even fit well, but hey, this is a relatively dead stock Mego figure for somebody. And it could easily be a top toy for somebody's collection. It's just an area I don't have a lot of experience in and a little less appreciation than average. It is licensed, it's Marvel, it's official. It's world's greatest superheroes, it's eight inch, woo! And believe it or not, it cost a whole $5.98. We're gonna give you a rundown now of other eight inch figures. Spidey would be pretty neat. And then if you wanted to cut this sucker out, you could go ahead and cut out the action card in the back. And again, if you don't know the other 8-inch figures in this lineup, you got Hulk, Goblin, uh, Falcon, which is kind of interesting. So, enjoy! <laughs> that grimace. He doesn't want to be locked away. That's like it. All right, so there you have it. Details on the Invincible Iron Man. He is a great character, a little bit derpy in execution, but what do we expect from Mego right before they were going out of business? Uh, this is 74, Mego went out like 76, 77, and they had some great ideas, but when they farmed things out to Hong Kong, I always felt there were some kinks with their production. So cheers from Ed. Hope you enjoy. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to check out our t-shirts and have a great day.